This is the gentlest breed of chicken we've ever had. I was just looking and I noticed that the birds had really gotten into my peas. Um, so I just found the places where they got them, which was pretty easy because there would be peas kind of all over the place and that's, so I would check. But I checked everywhere, but it was just where you could see them visibly on the surface. Um, so I replanted in those places. I'm just watering and I'm about to hopefully cover them with something. You guys mentioned trying that. I think that would be really helpful. Um, so I'm gonna try that. This is some uh, row cover. It's actually bug netting though. It's not like the row cover that extends the life of your, the season of your garden. This is just bug netting. It's for all of our brassicas. Um, and it's supposed to be a lot sturdier than the stuff we used last year for our brassicas. But I think if I just lay this on everything, I think this is gonna work just fine. With all this, I feel like I'm going to decorate for a wedding. <laughs> How long do you think you'll leave it on for? Till I see the plants coming up really good. And then pull it off. Yeah, and it's great because the water just goes right through it. The sun can even get through somewhat. So I think it's gonna be just the thing. So many people said, just cover them with something. Duh. Sometimes it's just funny to me what I didn't already think of. <laughs> it's like so obvious to do. flame weeding here. We're trying to finish up these strawberries because it's starting to rain. It's 11.30 in the morning. Okay, so everyone watch, we'll do a little class. Um, any of them you find that have a flower on them, go ahead and pull that off because we want them to get nice and strong. We actually don't want them to make strawberries this year. Down here is the crown. This isn't the best example, but the crown is right here. See that guy, that big thick part at the very bottom of the plant? No. So you'd want to make sure that you give a big enough space for the roots, but you also want to make sure you don't plant it too deep because you don't want um, the soil up over that crown. So what I've been doing is just putting, because they seem to be thriving just the way they are, is just putting them in there and pushing them down a bit and then just not even, just barely putting the dirt up to where the soil block is, okay? Ooh, those clouds are coming in. It's getting dark and it's gonna rain. perfect because now we don't have to water the strawberries. We're gonna have lunch and do school and do naps and Joy made lunch, she made quiche and I'm gonna make a salad. And yeah, it's actually kind of perfect timing because we were coming in anyway. Nice job, Joy. Does the, did your quiche turn out good? Good. I think I already got my share. Oh really? Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> caught him. <laughs> I caught him. Wash your feet off. Wash your feet. We haven't really had a good rainstorm since it's been warm. So the kids are going crazy. Loving playing in this rain. These chickens are golden comets, and I swear they're the gentlest, 
and sweetest chickens I've ever seen. Maybe the most ignorant as well because they're not afraid of anything as far as I can tell. I mean, look at this. You can pretty much just pet them. Yeah. Dad, don't pet them that much. And they're not scared at all. Yeah. Boo! Boo! Nothing will happen. Don't pull on it. You're flapping, and then you pick a color Don't to a color of a flower. <laughs> I've never really had any affection for chickens, but these are really cute. I've never considered getting golden commas before, but we needed some new layers, and I just went ahead and bought these from somebody local who had them for sale, and they're already laying age. The reason I never consider them is that they're a hybrid, so they're a cross. I don't know if it's called a hybrid when it's chickens, but they're a cross, so it takes um, two different breeds to make them. So like if, no, 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 don't let the chickens out. It takes two different breeds to create a golden comet. So when a golden comet hen and a golden comet rooster mate and lay an egg and that egg hatches, it will not make a golden comet. Um, it won't have, you know, consistent characteristics, just like with like hybrid seeds, like you can't, those can't reproduce themselves um, accurately. So that was one main reason. Another reason was because they aren't known to go broody. Um, so I just always overlooked them, but when this lady had these for sale, I went ahead and purchased them. And I could not be more pleased. I really like this breed of chicken. I don't think I would have an entire flock of golden comets just because there are a lot of attributes that I want, such as broodiness, ability to reproduce. And I even like heavier breeds because I like dual purpose breed chickens. But these are the sweetest chickens. They let you hold them, they come up to you, they don't run away when you catch them. They're incredible egg layers. They can lay almost 330 eggs per year. They also mature quicker than most breeds, so they can start laying eggs at four months. And that is very early. A lot of chicken breeds, it's five, even six months before they begin to even lay eggs. Having some golden comets mixed into your flock of more sustainable breeds would be a great thing. And they're just, they have been a joy to our whole family to have these chickens. So I am won over by these chickens. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That took no effort. That has never happened before in my life owning chickens, which has been quite a few years now. Here we go. What I mean whenever I say that they're a lighter breed is that they don't get a lot of meat on their bones. And there are some egg laying breeds like black Australorps that you can raise for meat and for eggs. These guys, you wouldn't, I mean, unless you just had to, you wouldn't want to raise for meat. They don't have much meat on them. They're totally OCD. Look at that. I saw them the other day pecking that piece of plastic on that little chick Root. cage. Uh -huh. Pecking it and pecking it for like 20 minutes. Six of them. Yeah, I don't think they're very smart, but they do forage. Um, they're known for foraging actually, which kind of surprised me. And they want to forage. They want to get out of the coop and forage. But right now I'm training them to come back here in the evening. So I'm not letting them out of the coop yet. You know how in Winnie the Pooh he calls himself a bear of small intelligence? Does he really? I believe so. Yeah, well. <laughs> a bear they, of little intelligence. Chickens are already not very smart. so. Then these are less smart. I've never really had any affection for any chickens. But these are really sweet. Something I've been doing is coming in here, mostly with the baby, and digging up worms for them in this... Cooperi, and I'm going to do that right now. Eight worms. Ten worms. Oh, there's three. You guys are sweet little chickens. Isn't that fun? They just gather right around. You dig up worms. They gobble them down as fast as you can even spot them. I dug up probably a hundred the other day where this cardboard was originally. If you want a little trick to get worms for your chickens, put down a piece of cardboard or uh, plywood and just lay it down on the ground, leave it for a few weeks, and then pull it up and let the chickens go in and eat all the worms. It's fun. Bye-bye. 
So these chickens are sweet, they're gentle, they lay good eggs, or lay eggs well, and we're very happy with them. Very unique breed compared to any other that we've ever had or kept. What did you do to the cow? It's like you broke her. This is the notorious Jersey flop. <laughs> the what? The Jersey flop. <laughs> this is the, what does that mean? Explain it that in some detail. It means when a stubborn Jersey cow doesn't want to do what you want her to do, she just flops on the ground. Did you beat her? No. Did you scream at her? No. What did you do? I just was trying to lead her out to the back pasture. Down on her knees. Yep. Jerseys are notorious for this. Whenever you're trying to get them to go somewhere and they don't want to go, they just flop on the ground like this. It's really kind of funny. And for so many people keep asking me, why don't you just lead her with a bucket? Because obviously she'll follow a bucket. I really do want to teach her or get her to learn to go on a rope. And then others have said, why don't you get a halter? Because it'd be easier. And I may do that. I just really like collars on cows rather than halters. So I'm making it hard for myself. All right, she but. decided to get up and walk. Okay guys, we're still in the middle of some projects, but we're getting ready to shut things down as far as YouTube video goes. So thanks for joining us today, guys. We're thinking of you all every day as this coronavirus mess is happening around us. We hope you're doing well. You want, do I want to see the cookie cake? Of course I want to see the cookie cake. Is it baked yet? No. Do I need to light the oven? I'm excited. Joyful's making supper. Broccoli. Mac and cheese cookie cake. We'll see you soon. We'll see you in our next video. Alright, goodbye.